This is the Dank Material Shell offering a next level Fayland desktop experience for Linux users. Dank is built on Quickshell and Go, optimized for Fayland compositors like Niri, Harpalint, and many others. In today's video, I will show you how to set up Arch Linux with DMS, aka Dank Material Shell. But thanks to the GitHub developer, the entire installation process is fully automated. Now let's start by installing Dank Shell along with .files on Arch Linux. Now keep in mind, this guide works on most major distributions. I have tested it on Ubuntu, Fedora, and Arch, and it runs flawlessly on all of them. Now for this demonstration, I will be using Arch, which is perfect for tinkering and customization. Now first, make sure you have a fresh installation of Arch Linux with the Plasma desktop on your PC or laptop using Arch install script. In my case, I already have Arch Linux with Plasma Desktop installed along the side Windows 11 on the same drive. This is a dual boot setup. I have made a separate video explaining how to install Arch Linux, so I will leave a link to that video in the description. Before installing the dank .files, make sure you have at least 10 GB of free space available on your system. The first thing to do after installing Arch Linux is to update your system. Open terminal or console and type this command to update your system. Then install Timeshift, a backup tool that allows you to create a snapshot of your system. This backup will be used if anything goes wrong after installing DMS. Ensure you backup the entire root system and home directories. Then click on Create to take a snapshot of the current state of Arch. Additionally, backup any important files to an external media for extra safety. It's recommended to install a few essential dependencies using pacman. Now run this command to install git and other required packages. Now it's time to set up a pre-configured Fayland desktop using an installer script created by a Maverick developer. Let's start by navigating to the official website to learn more about the setup. Now these are the latest DMS dot files, which brings a beautiful material inspired theme for Fayland compositors like Harpalend. I recommend reading the instructions carefully and going through the entire page. Then look for the quick start guide section. Go ahead and copy this command and paste it into your terminal and press enter to start setting up the dms.files. You will see a list of items that are going to be installed. But just go ahead and press enter to continue. Next, choose your window manager. Now use the arrow keys to navigate and press enter to select. Now as of now, you can choose between Niri or Hyperlint. In my case, I'm going to install Hyperlint. Then choose your terminal emulator from the available options. In my case, I'm going with Ghosty, which is highly customizable. Next, you will see a summary of all dependencies required for DMS. But simply select DMS and press enter, then enter your sudo password when prompted. Now sit back and be patient while the script is running in the background. Now once the setup is complete, it's recommended to restart your computer to apply all the changes. Now from the SDDM Login Manager, select Hyperlint Session from the top left corner. 
But this session manager makes it very easy to switch between Plasma Desktop and Hyperlint. After that, enter your password to login. Upon successful login, you will be greeted with the Hyperlint welcome screen. But this is the most beautiful quick shell running on Hyperlint you will ever experience. The first step you should do after setting up the DMS.Files is to fix the startup warning and brightness issue on laptops. Now go ahead and press Super plus T to open the terminal. The Super key is the Windows key on your keyboard. Then press Ctrl plus forward slash and jump to line number 143. Now simply add hashtag at the beginning of that statement to get rid of the warning. Then save the changes by pressing Ctrl plus O, then press Enter. If you are using a laptop or external monitor, you may notice the UI is scaled to 200%. You can fix this by adding a simple statement to the default config file. Now this last argument controls the scaling of your desktop. If you set to auto, it will scale automatically. If you set it to 1, it will downscale the UI and fit properly. Now once you have made the changes, press Ctrl plus O and press Enter to save them. Now it's time to fix the brightness control issue. Open terminal by pressing Super plus T and run this command to add your current user to the video group. Next, run this command to install Brightness Control. After that, run this command to edit the default Hyperlint configuration file. Then press Ctrl plus W and search for Brightness. Then press Enter. Now look for the Brightness Control statements and add a double quotes at the end of both statements. Then save the changes by pressing Ctrl plus O and enter and exit with Ctrl plus X. Finally, log out and log back in. And voila, now the brightness issue is resolved. It's time to fix the wallpaper issue. Open terminal and create a directory named pictures inside your home folder. Next, let's clone a collection of high quality wallpapers into this directory by running this command. Once it's done, open wallpapers panel by pressing super plus Y and set the path to the newly created folder. Now you will see all the wallpapers displayed, but choose the one you want to apply. Now by clicking your mouse on the top middle of the screen will bring up the control center. It consists of five sections, dashboard, media, wallpapers, weather, and settings. The dashboard section displays the time, date, system information, and media controls. The media section allows you to control audio playback directly from the panel. The wallpaper section lets you switch between wallpapers very easily. And the weather section shows live weather information. The final section is called settings. Now let's open the settings shortcut. Now from here you can switch between light or dark themes.
The layout follows Android's Material Expressive design. Under the interface settings, you can customize animations, tweak the top bar, and even adjust theme colors and much more. Now clicking on the top right of the screen opens up Quick Settings panel, which looks very similar to GNOME Desktop. Using these toggles, you can adjust brightness, sound, manage Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, enable light mode, handle power options, and much more. You can also customize this panel by adding more toggles, which is quite impressive. Now, by far, this is one of the best quick settings panel I have ever experienced. Also, the top bar includes widgets and applets like notifications, clipboard history, and shows the real-time CPU and memory usage. It even displays the CPU temperature, which is pretty cool. You can also press Super plus M to see more detailed information about your system resources. On the left side, you will find the App Launcher icon. By tapping it, it will display all the installed applications and allows you to search for any app, making it the quickest and easiest way to launch apps on your system. Now, let's talk about the workspaces. On the top bar, you will see the workspace switcher. Now, using this, you can simply switch between different workspaces. You can also use a key binding by pressing super plus a number from 0 to 9 to seamlessly switch between different workspaces. To edit the Herpoland configuration file, open terminal and navigate to the default key binding configuration file. Now let's add a custom key bindings for any application you want. Now in this example, we are going to add a shortcut to open the Chrome web browser. We will assign super plus B as the key binding. Once you have added the new key binding, save the changes by pressing Ctrl plus O and press Enter. Then exit with Ctrl plus X. Now pressing Super plus B will instantly launch the Chrome web browser. Overall, Arch Linux with DMS dot files takes your Hyperlint experience to another level with its stunning material theme. And that's all for this video on installing and customizing Hyperlint on Arch. A huge shout out to all the developers who contribute to making Linux so beautiful. Don't forget to check out the GitHub page for more insights into this configuration. And that's pretty much it. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This has been KSK Ryle. I will see you in the next one.